There is another systematic error in the previous calculations of the SCC. We live on a planet that is becoming greener because of the direct, next image, physiological effects of increasing carbon dioxide on plant photosynthesis. A massive survey of the scientific literature by Dr. Craig Idso shows this caused a $3.2 trillion increment in agricultural output from 1961 through 2011. My colleague, Mr. Diarotna, has shown that a more realistic sensitivity and carbon dioxide fertilization can result in a negative SCC or a net external benefit from the production of carbon dioxide. In closing, I provide you this image of the greening of our lukewarming home planet as taken by NASA satellites. Where there are dots, uh, where there are dots, the changes are statistically significant. Note that the greatest increases, the ones in pink, are in the margins of the world's deserts and the tropical rainforest, places we all feared for. If you're going to factor costs, you should factor benefits. And uh, the, uh, the increment just from direct carbon dioxide fertilization uh, for agricultural production is about $3 trillion from 1961 through 2011. But more importantly, the satellite data shows uh, a remarkable greening of the planet Earth. And the illustration that uh, I showed earlier is remarkably reassuring because the massive greenings, the largest greenings are occurring in the margins of the Great Desert, the Sahelian region in Africa that you and I were taught in school, this is desertifying and it will never come back. Right. The tropical rainforest, the lungs of the earth, have the largest increase in greening on the planet, all brought to you by carbon dioxide. <laughs> so, yeah, you should factor those things in, I would think. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you.